Well, now that I've had a raging rant for 16 minutes, we're going to continue on reading the Word of God. <clears throat> it's Saturday, August 22nd, 2020, and it's 1049 a.m. Um, let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who are indebted to us. And Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. I said that wrong. You know that I'm not perfect. But I believe that the rant that I just posted, I believe that that came from you, Holy Ghost, and I thank you for it. And I believe that soon and very soon, that soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king. I can feel it. I can feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So I don't feel bad at all about my little rant there telling people that you need to repent. You need to stop pussyfooting around like an idiot. You say that you're a Christian. You don't act like a Christian. Especially, you know, I got out of Dallas. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for getting me out of Dallas. Oh, Lord, help. The demonic activity in Dallas was tremendous. Now, there's a lot of it down here, too. Uh, but... It's not that the population is very sparse, and so it's not like all on top of me. So, but I tell the devil, get out. Right, in fact, right now I'm going to say, get out, devil, in the name of Jesus. Because I'm fixing to read the Word of God. We are on 1 Kings chapter 5. And Hiram, <clears throat> and Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servants unto Solomon, for he had heard that they had anointed him king in the room of his father, for Hiram was ever a lover of David. And Solomon said to Hiram, saying, Thou knowest how that David my father could not build an house unto the name of the Lord of the, the Lord his God for the wars which were about him on every side until the Lord put him put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent. Hallelujah. So this means that Solomon is going to get to build the temple. Hallelujah. And behold, I purpose to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord spake unto David my father, saying, Thy son, whom I will set upon thy throne in thy room, he shall build an house unto my name. Now therefore command thou that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with thy servants, and unto, and unto thee will I give hire for thy servants, according to all that thou shalt appoint. For thou knowest that there is not any that 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 there is not among us any that can skill to hew timber like unto the Sidonians. And it came to pass when Hiram heard the words of Solomon that he rejoiced greatly and said. Blessed be the Lord this day, which hath given unto David a wise son over this great people. And Hiram sent, uh, sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered the things which thou sentest to me for, and I will do all thy desire concerning timber and cedar and concerning timber of fir. My servants shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place <laughs> That's amazing. That thou shalt appoint me, and will cause them to be discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire in giving food for my household. Hallelujah. See how the Lord provides? He's going to provide in times. He provided, he provided manna 
for the children of Israel for 40 years. He provided their, their clothes never ran out for 40 years. Their they never outgrew their shoes in 40 years. Now he's going to provide everything they need. All the food, all the material, everything they need to build the temple. To take care of the people. So Hiram gave Solomon cedar trees and fir trees according to all his desire. And Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 measures of wheat for food to his household and 20 measures of pure oil. Thus gave Solomon to Hiram year by year. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Hiram and Solomon. And they too made a league together. Hallelujah. And King Solomon raised a levy out of all Israel, and the levy was 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month by courses. A, 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 month they caused, a month they were in Lebanon and two months at home. And Adoniram, Adoniram was over the levy. And Solomon had three score and, and 10,000 that bear burdens and four score thousand hewers in the mountains beside the chief of Solomon's officers which were over the work 3,300 which ruled over the people that wrought the work and the king commanded and they brought stones costly stones and huge stones to lay the foundation of the house and Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders did hew them and the stone quarters so that, that so they prepared timber and stones to build the house hallelujah